This is the Visser XL Drum Seater, the most flexible, high speed, accurate, and easy to use seating machine on the market. Visser is the world leader and innovator in horticultural technology, and I'm here to tell you all about it. Hi folks, welcome to another Bell Park Let's Talk About video. Today, I have the popular Visser XL Drum Seater. The XL Drum Seater has been around for quite a few years and is used by growers all over the world. Here at Bell Park, it is our most popular seater. They are so popular that we actually have a hard time keeping them in stock. But I managed to get some time with this one before it is delivered to a customer so I can walk you through all the features and benefits and even run it and do some sewing. First, what can this cedar be used for? The question should really be what it can't be used for. The XL Drum Cedar has been the machine for many growers that are needing a solution to a seeding challenge. For example, when marigolds became popular, they were difficult to sew especially at high speeds. The XL Drum Seeder was the answer and quickly became the solution for sewing marigolds, reaching high speed and achieving 99% or better accuracy. When vegetable propagators and growers needed a flexible, reliable solution for all types of vegetable crops, often sowing over 40 types of seed, once again, the XL Drum was the go-to seeder for a variety of vegetable seeds. When demand for sowing hemp picked up, the XL Drum was the obvious solution. And now Visser and Bell Park have the fastest and most advanced hemp seeding line on the market today. So let me show you why the XL Drum seeder is the go-to solution for all your sowing needs. So let's start by going over some of the specs of the XL Drum Seeder. First, most importantly, this machine will sow 800 to 1500 trays per hour, depending on the model, the tray, or the seed type. We can sow all types of seed, thanks to the innovative drum designs. We can also sow into virtually all types of plug trays and pots. We can do multiple seeds per cell or pot when it's needed. The machine is also fully programmable and it's easy to use and program, of course. It has high quality components which make the machine durable and last a very long time. You can remotely connect for service and support, which is very important. So let's start with a walk around and we'll get into some of the details of the machine. So we're gonna start here at the beginning of the machine and also talk about the dibbler. So, um, but I'm gonna do that from around back. So before we do that though, I just wanna show you on the dibbler a couple of features. So how to open it up, it's very simple. So pull this lever, pull that up, cause that locks the drum in place and lift your cover and then everything is accessible. Now before I walk around, I just wanna show you too, the height adjustment on the dibbler is just down here. It's a very simple crank, but this is um, also very accurate and easy to change depending on your tray height or your pot height. And then you've got some markers here. And what a lot of customers do is they'll just mark here different trays so they can quickly adjust. And then kind of you can eyeball it from here and adjust it um, to your tray. So I'll walk around back and we'll uh, keep talking about the dibbling. Okay, so let me just close this so I can show you a couple of things up front here. Um, so what we've got on the infeed side of the seating machine is two air jets. So these two guys are flexible, adjustable, so you can clean soil off the belt or the edge of the tray of the, um, of the tray that's coming out of the filler because you don't want that soil to go into your seating line. You want to blow it back into the filler. You can also adjust the flow on these guys um, so they're very easy to use. So we've got a sensor here on the infeed that looks for a tray coming out of a filler and the machine will wait for a tray if there's none coming. Um, and then we move on to the motorized dibbler. 
Motorized is the key word. So Visser has always used a motorized dibbler, and that's an important feature, because what you don't want is your tray um, being used to force the dibbling drum to turn around, because that will cause a ski slope effect in your cells, which pushes the soil in the cell up to the side. Then when you sow, your seed ends up on the side of the cell, affects your propagation. So Visser uses a driven dibbling drum, um, as you can see here. We also have this brush here, which cleans the drum on every pass. The drum is easy to change. Uh, this one you'll see a little bit dirty because we had to borrow it from a local customer. Just lift it off. There's your dibbling drum there. This one is designed for a specific tray. These come in all types. These little pins, I'm not sure if you can see it, but these are flat, but a lot of times they're conical in shape or pins, um, whatever type of dibble is required. So to place this back in, just line it up, set it in place. Now I should point out too, that there is a sensor down here, which you can't see, which aligns the drum in the exact position for when um, the first tray enters. So you don't have to worry about it, you just put it in place, and when you start your machine, this motor will activate and will line up the drum in the exact spot that it needs to be um, so it's lined up for the tray. So I'm just gonna close this up again, pull this pin out, lower this down, and your dibbler is ready to go. Okay, I'm back in front of the machine. And I just wanted to show you, um, in front of the machine here, we have the main control panel, nicely centrally located. This is where you'd open it up, do all your service. You have all your electronic components in there. And then up here is your operator control panel or touchscreen. And you've got your nice big e-stop here for stopping the machine in case of emergency. Uh, I really like the position of this because you're actually standing over top and around. You got everything around you. So you see your trays coming by, you see what's happening on your drum, your dibbler, and it's a really good position to, to, uh, to control. So I really like that. Uh, so moving on, uh, one of the most important parts, of course, is your drum. And I'll get into that in a sec. I just want to show you down here, on the bottom, you've got your vacuum pump. Now this is a high quality pump um, and it's actually really quiet, which I really like. Now over here, again, this is your height adjust for your drum. So as you're cranking this up and down, this whole mechanism is going up and down. So making adjustments, and you can see I'm kind of eyeballing it underneath here. So it's actually really easy to do. And then you've got a marker, which you may or may not be able to see, similar to what we've got on the dibbling unit, um, with your measurement so you can make little marks there for different trays uh, just to give you an indication and then you do your fine adjust uh, down here. So let's show you some of the features in and around the drum because Visser has a lot of clever little things in here so hopefully I uh, remember them all. <laughs> so first we've got on this side we've got a hopper and this little guy catches any seed that's actually blown off um, on the drum itself. And that can be removed or blown off, the extra seed that is, by these um, blow-off bars, we call them. So these bars can actually be controlled individually um, on your touchscreen. So you can program them to blow off at different pressures depending on the seed, um, etc. So you can set the first bar, for example, to have a, high, a much higher flow than the last bar. So there's um, a lot of flexibility here. And then on the other side, you have your main seed hopper, which is where you'd fill with all your seed. And then underneath, we have another catch basin to grab all the, any seed that's blown off on this side or that falls through. So also on your main seed hopper, we've got a position here uh, for an optional vibrator. So if you've got some seed that's a little bit sticky, um, you can actually add a vibrator and there's an extra pneumatic um, valve here for it. So you can add that option and vibrate your seed hopper just to keep the seed apart. We've also got, uh, Visser has a pneumatic cylinder in here, 
which again, that can be controlled in a touchscreen, that cylinder moves back and forth to move this whole seed hopper back and forth. So when we keep that seed moving, it's always moving around and it's easier to grab by these nozzles on this drum. So that's another um, you know, pretty, pretty brilliant feature. So I'm just gonna pull the drum out now. Let me just put this back in. Oh, I should point out before I go too much further, we've got another sensor right under here. That's a very important sensor. That guy looks for the tray as it's coming underneath. So as soon as that sensor sees the tray, of course it tells the drum to start turning. So I'm gonna pull this up. Now I've got seed in the hopper. Now what usually you could do is clean out the seed in the hopper with a little vacuum, which I'll show you in another scene. But what you can also do is just pull this up and all your seed falls. And then it's all collected there which is really handy when you forget to clean out your hopper and you're changing your drum. So let me just take this drum out and show you what it looks like. I'm gonna pull this pin, which allows me to turn this handle. So turn that out, freeze it up, pop it out, lift it up, and that's your drum. So you can see this drum, of course, this drum has, I don't know what size it is, um, but it could be a 0.25 mil, it could be a 0.01, but all these drums come, of course, uh, with different hole sizes. And all these chambers are for vacuum or blowout, depending on the position of the drum. So if you come here a little bit closer, you could see over here, all these chambers that send vacuum or air into the drum, as well as one for cleaning it out on every rotation which I think is a very important but brilliant feature. So let me just put this guy back in. Just gotta remember, pull this pin out. There we go, locks in place, drums in position. I can put this back down and we're ready to go. That's how easy it is to change a drum. Now, there's another uh, option that's available, which we can show here on the screen, but it's called a separation comb. Now, this particular drum setup doesn't have it, but the separation comb sits underneath these blow-off bars, and what it does is it goes along the rows of the little holes in the drum, and it separates seeds. So if you have doubles, it'll just kick off the double. So that's another, um, another good feature on the Visser uh, Cedar. So I'm just gonna put, refill my hopper because we're gonna be seeding in a little bit. It's important to spread the seed around and of course to always use more seed than you need when you start sowing so you have extra in there to increase your pickup accuracy. And so that's the, uh, the drum on the XL drum seater. Okay, so I just wanna show you a couple of the little accessories that Visser uh, includes with the XL drum seater. So first of all, we've got our seed vacuum. So this is an important little guy, which um, you actually plug him in at the back there. And then this becomes a vacuum. So you can clean up your uh, expensive seed and not waste any. And then once all your seed is inside the container, just unscrew it and pour him back in. So seed vacuum, nice little feature. This little uh, brush actually just clips on here to help clean off uh, the drum. Another little brush they include, actually it's uh, for moving seed around in the hopper um, and maybe for dusting things off, but because uh, you don't really want to touch the seed with your hands. This tool is for making adjustments on your separation combs, uh, which would go underneath the blow off bars. So you adjust them up and down, and that's what this uh, very specific tool is for. So this one I really like. So this is like a, holds a needle that you use for your drum maintenance. So to clean out um, the holes in your drum. And 
Now, typically, if you're just holding like this, you go like so, and if you move it, you could crack your needle and then get it stuck inside. So what Vister does is they give you this nice little tool and you put it on your drum and it helps you to move this up and down without moving it on an angle and cracking your needle. So this you move along and clean out all your nozzles. Now talking about drum maintenance, which is very important because the Visser drum has all these different chambers um, which need to be uh, kept clean. So they've included this LED light bar, which you can plug in, slide inside your chamber, and if you see light out of the holes, they're clean. So kind of a really nice feature. And those are the accessories that you'll get with your Visser XL drum seater. Oh, and I almost forgot, is this tray. So let me move this over. This is simply for, at the end, if you want to unload your hopper quickly, you can slide this tray underneath, pull up, and your seed will empty into this tray, and then this can be used to put it back into your seed container. And this is actually a specific bolt here, just for hanging that tray. And those are your accessories on your XL drum seater. Okay, so I'm just at the main uh, operator control panel here on the Visser XL drum seater. So I'm just gonna walk you through um, the touchscreen and how it works. So first I've got uh, overview system, which brings you actually to like a production menu. Um, so let's go there. So this shows you kind of we're in the, in the, uh, in the drum, seating drum setting. And so if I wanna look at the dibbler, I just press dibbler and that shows you all the settings on the dibbler. Um, and then I can turn on and off the vacuum uh, pump from here. I can turn it off. I've got counters, so I can, uh, the counters show your total working time. Um, you have a tray counter, so it actually counts the amount of trays that you've sewn, or a batch, so you can enter in 100 trays, 200 trays, and the machine will let you know after you've sewn uh, that many trays. Uh, the dibbler, I've shown you, going back to the seating drum. So now in the seating drum menu, you'll see, now you remember the blow-off bars that I talked about earlier? Well, you see them here, one through five and you've got your pressure that comes out of those bars, which is individually adjustable. So here I've got pressure of 150 on the first bar, and I've got zero on the fifth bar. You can uh, change that to um, 200, 300, whatever you need, um, uh, but those are also uh, saved in your uh, seed program because those are um, need to be adjusted according to the type of seed that you're running through this machine. So I've also got um, time hopper to the right, time hopper to the left. What that is, is that's the little cylinder that's inside the hopper that moves the actual hopper back and forth, which you've probably seen if you've watched any videos, uh, production videos on the XL drum seater. Um, and then I've also got the fine adjustment for dropping seeds. That's a very important one because that's the point at which the very first row of seeds is dropped in the tray when it crosses that sensor. So that's an important fine adjustment. Um, so there's a few other things in here which I'll show you when we run it, but basically um, turn full. So when I press turn full, the drum is gonna preload. So um, I start up my vacuum pump, I press turn full, and it preloads the whole drum with seed and it's ready to go. And then you start your sewing and that way your first row gets sewn and so on and so forth. Turn empty is when your drum is full and you want to stop. So you press turn empty, it reverses the drum, drops all the seed back into the hopper, which is really nice, and turns off the vacuum pump. So it's kind of like the last thing that you do when you're done sewing. So, so getting out of here, I'm just going to go back home actually, um, to the home menu. So I've got system information. I got alarm information and machine information. I'm just gonna show you the alarm information for a sec here. So it keeps track of alarm history, current warnings, um, system diagnostics, alarms, current alarms. So for example, if you're low on air, it'll tell you um, 
you know that um, that's the problem that you're having right now and it actually keeps the history of that um, so if your service tech comes and starts looking at the machine if there's been an issue he can look at the history and be like oh okay it's low on air or, you know you're having this problem so going back home again program selection this is an important one so program selection is where you choose your type of tray your type of seed and your seeding drum so if I go into tray I got my list of trays there and uh, there's just a couple of trays in here, but we're gonna be adding quite a few more when we get this machine ready for the next customer. So if I wanna get out of here, press the X. Now I wanna press seed. I've got a couple of different seeds that are already pre-programmed in here. Again, you can add a lot more, but I'll show you that in a minute. I wanna get out of here and you can choose a cedar drum. So right now we only have one size in here. Um, but you're, typically you'd have all your different drums and it's very easy to select the drum that you want to use. And then you match it with the seed that you want to use and the tray. So you can create different combinations. <clears throat> so just going back home. Now manual control, you see a really nice picture of the cedar there. So what the service techs tell me is that this screen is actually used um, a lot of times for service and maintenance. So you can move things uh, manually like the belt, dibbling drum, etc., and also check uh, the sensors, uh, whether they're green or red. Um, so that's manual control. So going back, um, now settings is an important one um, because settings is actually where you'll enter in a new tray, a new type of seed, or a new drum. So, um, so I look at tray settings. I've got a little icon here that looks like a document. So I've got a few that are already programmed in here. I can fill this page. And in fact, I can scroll even further and fill up multiple pages for oodles of tray types. Um, so to add a new one, I hit that little icon and then it gives me just a bunch of information that I need to enter. First, I can give the tray a name. I, can tell, I need to tell it the number of rows the first uh, row, the row step. So what that means is the distance to the first row and then the actual row step. So the distance between um, the centers of the cells in the tray, for example. <coughs> Number of rows per group, group step, segment tray. There's a lot of different options in here. I can spend half an hour going through them all, but um, I just wanted to show you that this machine really is programmable um, for all, the diff all your different um, seating needs. So getting out of here, let's get out. I wanna show you seed settings. Again, I've got already seeds in there. I wanna add a new one, I press that. And again, I wanna give it a name. The number of seeds, so if there's a certain seed where you always do two or four, you can already program that in here. Your preference speed, sometimes you wanna run seed at 100%, or if it's a very large seed, you'll only wanna run it at 50%. Um, so you have that option and you program that, that into your type of seed. Seed hopper. So this is a neat one. So right now um, it's on vibrator. So I go back to cylinder. So the cylinder is actually the cylinder inside the seed hopper that moves back and forth. So that means the cylinder is on. Now if I switch it to both, then I can have both that cylinder and a vibrator, which I showed you earlier is an option to add on this machine. And then I can say no for neither, or I can go just vibrator and not moving the seed hopper um, back and forth. So again, programmable according to the seed type. So a very nice, uh, a a nice thing to have. So getting out of here, drum settings. So this is where I can add a new drum. Um, and then you have all your drums in here with all your drum settings. So I've got a service menu. So you can have adjust your alarm settings, your language, your logo settings, and your main settings. I'm not gonna get into all that today, but I just wanted to show you um, what's all in here. And then display settings again. So you can calibrate the screen, change your date and time, um, et cetera. So there's a lot of different features in here. So I just wanna go back to um, to the home screen, overview system, because this is kind of your most important screen that you're gonna use um, when you're sewing. 
So next, we're gonna actually run some seed and I'll show you how to do it on this screen. Okay, so we're gonna run a couple of trays here just to quickly show you um, how the machine functions. So I've adjusted the height of the dibbling drum. I've also reset it because we did remove it. So we have to reset it into position and that can be done in the menu here. Um, also um, the seating drum, I've set the height and we've reset it uh, because we did remove it earlier by just on the reset um, menu here. So reset seater, just to show you what it does. So it just finds its perfect position and then we're ready to go. So I'm gonna press the vacuum. Vacuum part pump starts up nice and quiet. Then I'm gonna press turn full to preload the seeding drum with seed. So I do that. Now you see how um, we've nicely filled up the drum now. All the cells have one seed per cell and we're holding um, the seeds ready for the trays. So I press start and the first tray comes through the dibbler. So I wanted to show you, I've stopped the machine to show you here. So we've got the first tray done, but an important thing that Bell Park does when they order the XL drum seeder is we order this, uh, basically this is a 12 foot length uh, versus 10 foot. And that gives you this extra section to inspect the tray before it goes into the water and or into the vermiculite. And I think that's a very important feature. Okay, so we're done seeding here for the day. So I'm just gonna press turn to empty and my drum is gonna reverse. And my vacuum pump stops, loads the seed back into the hopper. I'm ready to unload my seed, either do the next variety or change my drum and do a different tray. So that concludes the uh, XL drum video. I hope you enjoyed it and um, all of our talking about the XL drum seeder. So talk to your Bell Park Machine Pro for more information or check out bellparkhorticulture.com. Hit like and subscribe and be sure to click the bell to be notified when we release a new video. Thanks for watching.